we smash some highlandry.com where we get yeah. on lollipop every day. Anyway, I've got Galaxy S4s here. Uh, this is a GTI 9500. This is a Verizon S4. Uh, there is a CM12 Lollipop Android 5.0 available. It's a beta version. Uh, let me show you a quick peek at it. Let's go do this, baby. All right, let's take a look. Uh, I've got the GTI 9500 here. Um, this is running the latest CM12, which is based on Android 5.0. Um, you're going to get pretty much everything uh, with the official Android Lollipop uh, plus a little bit more. And uh, the way you can check if you have Android 5.0, go to About Phone, uh, go ahead and click on the Android version, and it should say Lollipop. Um, and you can change the colors and you know, all that, do all that good, cool stuff. I'll go ahead and uh, do a long press, and you can play this little game here. Uh, oh, God. This game is so hard. Anyway, um, see what level you can get to. So that's how you can tell. Anyway, the i9500 version is not usable as daily driver. Uh, voice calls work, everything works except for NFC. The most importantly, um, camera also doesn't work. Also, uh, data, 3G, 4G LTE data doesn't work. But uh, you can go ahead and make a backup ROM, try the ROM. If you don't like it, well, you'll have to restore your ROM if you want to use that daily driver. Uh, if you're using your Galaxy S4 as a secondary phone, then you can go ahead and uh, you know put it on Wi-Fi and get data, so you should be fine. So that's the notes for i9500, a uh, sort of alpha alpha. But uh, if you have any of the other variants, any Qualcomm-based um, Galaxy S4, sorry, that one does not have LTE. Uh, if you have the LTE-based Galaxy S4, which means you have a Qualcomm chip, uh, then you can go ahead and install the this one, uh, which I install on my Verizon Galaxy S4. Also, you you have to have an uh, unlocked bootloader. So if you have one of the newer AT&T or Verizon S4 with a locked bootloader, then you're out of luck. Uh, you're, you're out of luck for anything AOSP or you know. So, uh, but uh, if you did root and have a low keyed uh, AT&T or Verizon S4. Uh, if you low keyed, you know what I'm talking about. Then you can install it, and the uh, data works just fine. Everything works on this actually, uh, except for NFC and camera. Um, so actually pretty good as daily driver. Uh, both of these actually pretty solid as far as UI. There's no actual bugs um, you're gonna find other than super smoothness and super fluidity. Uh, also, there is battery saver for those of you who don't know. Uh, if you go to battery, some of these menus are hidden. Uh, go ahead and click up here, go to battery saver. Uh, if you turn this on, you can get like a ton more battery life. Uh, I've been actually messing with it. You can get like like twice more sometimes. But it does turn off your background data, um, other notifications, so just be aware. I would turn it on when you've run out of battery. Other than that, um, definitely check it out. Um, you know, This one is, again, usable as daily driver if you don't need the camera and the NFC. I know some of you don't use NFC. I don't much. And also some of you don't use camera. You don't like taking selfies. Maybe you're ugly, um, or you don't like to take photos and videos of others, uh, or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, just check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. Uh, it is super smooth, and uh, I think you guys are going to love it. Um, and uh, just make a backup ROM, please, and that way you can go back. Just try it. If you don't like it, go back. That's the whole backup and restore ROM thing is for. That's it. And thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving Black Friday holiday. Um, there is also Cyber Monday sales coming. I tr I'll try to do a video on it. Uh, in the meanwhile, if you have a Galaxy S4, make a backup ROM. Uh, try the Lollipop. And for the JFLT version, for all the Qualcomm S4s, um, you can pretty much use it as daily driver. So long as you don't need camera or NFC. For the i9500, since data isn't working, just go ahead and try it uh, for a couple hours, uh, get the feel of Android 5.0 Lollipop, and then restore your old ROM back. And that's about it. I will see you guys soon. As always, stay here on Android.